Hi everyone, Neharika here. Well, it's pouring outside and that's why I have an umbrella here. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about rain. Well, before we begin, let me put this away. Okay, I'm back again. So, we're going to look at some vocabulary related to rain. Uh, let's get started. The very first one that I have for you is to drizzle. Now, drizzle is, you know, fine drops of rain or, you know, very light rain. So when you step out, okay, so it's not draining heavily. However, it's just fine drops that you can feel on your body. So that's not exactly raining. You can say, oh, it's drizzling outside. Okay, so very fine drops of rain that you can feel on yourself. That's drizzling, okay, or drizzle. The second one, downpour. Now, downpour is, yes, it is that it, well, when it rains heavily okay you are outside and it's raining heavily and you'll be like oh my god that's like crazy downpour okay so downpour is heavy rains all right the second one it's bucketing down so bucketing down is uh, another way of saying that oh my god it's raining heavily okay so probably you're getting late to work and uh, once you get to your office great excuse i'm so sorry i'm late it was bucketing down so bucketing down it was raining heavily again so it's heavy rains okay the next one torrential rain so the city faced a torrential rain last night so torrential rain is a very common term used by the media okay so the news channels and the newspapers will not say uh, it was a crazy downpour or it rained heavily but a perfect phrase for them and you will commonly come across in the newspapers it's torrential rain so the city faced torrential rain last evening or yesterday so torrential rain is heavy rainfall okay so too much of heavy rains do you like that well i kind of like it at times if i'm not going to work you know jumping in the puddle enjoying the rains it's fun okay let's get back so then next one that we have is scattered showers now scattered showers are again uh, i mean it's a term or a phrase used by the weather forecast people you know, they would say, well, uh, the city would experience scattered showers. Have you heard that before? Well, what exactly that means? So it means that the city would face an on and off rains for a very short period throughout the day. Okay, so it won't constantly rain. Okay, um, it's going to be scattered rainfall or scattered showers. So scattered showers that it would rain on and off for a very short period. all right you got that next one it's raining cats and dogs have you heard that before it's raining cats and dogs well not really cats and dogs are not falling from the sky okay it's an idiom that you can use when it's raining heavily okay so rather than just saying it's bucketing down what a crazy downpour another idiom that you can use it's raining cats and dogs okay so it's raining heavily all right the next one flood okay my city is flooded because of the torrential rainfall so what's flood so flood is uh, an overflow of large amount of water okay you're unable to walk the streets are full of water okay so you don't end up saying it's full of water you would say it's flooded okay the streets are flooded so flood is a large amount of water overflowing yeah I don't like floods well you know it 
makes our life so difficult. You really can't step out of the house and it's water everywhere. So that's not like my favorite thing. Okay, now the next thing. So here uh, were some phrases to talk about rain. Uh, now we have uh, some words that would be helpful to you uh, when you get wet, okay? Um, some words that you can use to talk about you being wet because of the rain. So the first one that I have here is damp, okay? So damp is um, slightly wet, okay? Not, you're not fully wet, okay? Or uh, maybe your bag is not fully wet. You say, oh, my bag is just a little damp. So damp is slightly wet. Now, even at times when it stops raining, but the roads look a little wet to you, okay? So again, so they're not, the roads are not flooded, they're just slightly wet, then you would say, oh, the roads are a little damp, okay? So that's the word you would use. The, another word that you can use when you are completely wet, okay? Probably you forgot to carry an umbrella, so you get drenched, okay? So rather than saying, oh my God, I'm completely wet, say that I am drenched, okay? So drenched, it means that you are fully wet, okay? So don't take that risk, don't be drenched, okay? Carry an umbrella, especially when it rains. Another word, um, instead of drenched, you can use is soaked, okay? So soaked is again when you are fully wet, okay? Your clothes are dripping water, so that means that your clothes are soaked with water, okay? So soaked is again fully wet. Okay, so you got the difference? Damp is slightly wet, whereas drenched and soaked, soaked is when you're completely wet. A clap of thunder. So when it rains, okay, it's not just the drops that you feel, right? There are certain more things that happen. Well, you hear a clap of thunder. Is that a little scary to you? Well, no, I like thundering. I kind of like it, but poor pets, you know, the dogs and the cats, they are very scared of when it thunders, okay? So especially during the storms, you would hear a clap of thunder. So a clap of thunder is a phrase used for the rumbling sound that you hear from the clouds. Okay, so that's a clap of thunder. And then you also have bolt of lightning. I think it's one of the most beautiful thing in the nature. Have you ever seen lightning? It, it is gorgeous. I have tried to click, but I have failed. So a bolt of lightning is a flash of light that you see in the sky, okay? And with lightning comes thunder as well. So the moment you see a flash of light, like within a few seconds, you would hear a clap of thunder, okay? Because lightning is followed by the thunder, okay? So here are some phrases that would be helpful to you when you are talking about rain, okay? And just another thing I want you to keep in mind is that many countries have a monsoon season. So monsoon is basically rainy season, okay? So go ahead, use these words, and I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care and enjoy rains.